after having the best masala dosa in Udupi hashtag #dosa life we now made our way to Mangalore Prashant assured me that the reign of vegetarian food ended at the Udupi border and so i was only dreaming about chicken ghee roasts and fish thali we are the story hunters and this is the taste of karnataka Prashant was taking me to our first breakfast joint in the morning. I was super excited. Just when I was trying to figure out whether to have fish or prawns this early in the morning, he turns around and tells me, "It's pure veg." So, what have we ordered now? Sajdi, avala, avala ki, puri bhaji, puri bhaji, mango bhaji. Here's my hypothesis. It might have been a literal mixing of cultures. from the marathi brahmins mm-hmm. and the local brahmins because there was upma on one side and there was your poha on the other side and poha was sweet in true udupi tradition yeah. so we have gone for a second round prashant ordered a potato vada i ordered a coffee how is the meat so far it's good even the bonda and everything i don't think it had any onions in it and it was red on the inside i think it had some beetroot in it which is quite interesting baked flour with a little bit of uh, jaggery on the inside <laughs> this treachery was not easily forgiven i decided to take matters into my own hand and figured i would decide where to eat next a little birdie then told me about the best damn chicken ghee roast in the city take notes prashant cuz this is how it's done sweet chicken ghee roast this is what i was talking about just like my dreams I was snapped back to reality. Anupam was disappointed. Even I was really excited about it. Never been there before myself. But I feel like over the years the standard may have slipped somewhere. They might have lost some of the original cooks because the food was really substandard stuff. The chicken was like pre-boiled. The curry was made separately, and I think they just must have tossed it together in the kitchen before they gave it to us. I am lost. Still not found. I'll admit, things weren't going our way. We weren't off on a great start. I had no idea what we were doing there anymore. Where was all that great seafood that everybody kept talking about? So we decided to take a break and recalibrate ourselves. I am weary of the stare in the air. I'm actually pretty happy that we did that because just then the universe gave us exactly what we were looking for. Simple home cooked food. Halli mane literally translated halli means village mane means house so it's like village house food. It was run by a brother and sister duo and assisted by their father. They're from this place in Karnataka called Hassan, and Hassan cuisine is really unique, very different from the stuff we've eaten. And they were just trying to bring those flavors to Mangalore. Chicken like masala, mera ka dish hai. Okay. Mera beta ko bahut pasand hai. Isliye me unka burning maine banaya. Sab log bol diya cat in mera ko. Sab ko milta hai na tera taste is. So baad me maine idhar bana diya idhar bahut click. The flavor was right on point and very different from the stuff that people get there. So everyone there was really excited. It was really crowded, and they barely had a moment to even look up and serve us. But they were very sweet people, and I think that was a really good experience. After Hali Mane, we realized if we had to find the perfect Mangalore and meal, we first had to understand what was a Mangalore and meal. Yep, we went all Socrates on this. We had to go hit up the experts, the ladies who've been living and cooking in Mangalore for over thirty years, the mothers. 
Crabs. Crabs. Uh, crabs. So as I can understand, I think vegetarian dishes like pure veg is little less. Everything has little prawn or something. Uh, everything, yeah. Some vegetarian, non-veg. Yeah, most of the people <laughs> like to keep away. For mm-hmm. festivals, we make only Without vegetables. Without uh, no, okay. no. Uh, Diwali. Diwali. For three days we celebrate, and the fourth day <laughs> we go with non-veg. Okay. <laughs> They were the sweetest aunties ever. They even laid out a table full of snacks. Now I was saving my appetite. But something about Prashant's face told me that he was into deep already. Equipped with all that knowledge and experience, we set out on our way. But we still weren't ready. Now I'm not a religious man, but I am a hungry man. and we only had one shot at this so i wasn't pulling any of my punches when you wake up one morning and you realize all groggy and misty eyed that you're flying right through the sky on a falcon named jebediah when you come to you see right in front of you jebediah staying cool he ain't scared of the sky or to die from a fall to the earth so we just came back from st louis's chapel it was beautiful everything was painted in the 19th century we were not allowed to shoot inside or we 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 didn't we didn't shoot anything. Yeah, we did. What stood out? What was one thing that was the highlight? I think it was basically the style of painting. Uh, I think someone really mentioned that uh, the, the the frescoes and the way that they painted on wet plaster. I yeah. remember reading this about the Sistine Chapel. I was quite surprised to see that it was the same style, and it's quite cool because I mean you would never imagine something like something like that in exists Mangalore. in the middle of Mangalore. But for me, I think. What stood out about the paintings? How intrinsic, intrinsic, intricate, intric? No, intrinsic is also right. intrinsic is mean that inherent. Okay, I'll edit this up. Intricate. How intricate the paintings were, and how beautifully they were kept. They're still restored. Okay, now where are we heading? We're going to Giri Manjas. Finally got the name right. For oh, us. messing up the name. I, I keep calling it. Yeah. No, I kept calling it uh, Gachibali, which is in Hyderabad. I know why. G Manja. <laughs> Gangster manja. Hey, 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 you know, you know what would be G manja if you translated it into English? G thread, G thread. Another word for thread. G string. I need to edit this out. <laughs> the quality of the content, Prashant. It's at stake. Okay, right behind us, you can see the High Court, the Bar Association, and everything. You know, this would be a right time to crack a lawyer joke. Do you have a lawyer joke? Yeah, let's go in for a drink. <laughs> no, a lawyer joke. Oh, you mean bar? Ah. <laughs> Quality of this, this thing is really dropping. <laughs> Must save it. Need to insert a montage right now. <laughs> so this was it. This was the moment. Everything had boiled down. This was the final countdown. something very strange happened we forgot about the two days in mangalore we forgot about that breakfast at taj mahal we forgot about that disappointing chicken ghee roast we forgot about halimane we forgot about the aunties in the morning and once again we were just two weary travelers looking for a hot meal and that's exactly what we got Giri Manjas was amazing because that was true Mangalorean coastal cuisine. So they they only had a fish thali. They were like, I was like, so what do you have? They like, okay, we have a fish thali. I was like, do you have any other option? No, we just have a fish thali. And they put the thali in front of us, and guess what? There was no fish, <laughs> except what they did have was fish curry, which they kind of just put over it. So you're supposed to order all your fish separately. 
which was great. And the food was absolutely fantastic, made in the local masala mixtures, deep fried. And what they do is they fry it in really hot oil. So what happens with that is the outside becomes really crispy, while the in inside remains kind of soft. The way that they had kept the restaurant, like they had not upgraded, is one of the most popular places in Mangalore. But if you walk inside, it just looks like a little village shack. The the whole vibe of it was really good. So I think that was one of our best best meals. That was especially after having all that veg food. <laughs> oh, we overloaded on veg. In fact, cut to the footage where just finish the meal. Prashant, I'm done. I can't move anymore. This is. It. I think I was eating for the past three days. <laughs> this has to be the best meal I think so far. So far, yeah. yeah. After all the veg food that you make me have, <laughs> into dupi, I think this meal. This is like the proper first proper meal. Yeah, that's true. And we we tried everything. We we tried prawns. We had uh, I love fish, sardines, crabs, crabs. seals. Insane. I can't move anymore. I can't barely move a desk. 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 I haven't moved in a minute. I've been sinking in my cow's cap. What a satisfying end to a roller coaster of a journey. The search for a perfect manual meal, it was a learning lesson on its own. We had come in with great hopes, but Mangalore, Mangalore didn't care about the hopes that we had. Mango was bigger than our expectations and our ideas of it. And that was the biggest thing we learned on this trip. Both of us agreed we had to go and just revere the beauty of Mango one last time before we head out the next day. On the next episode of Taste of Karnataka, it's a pokathon. I've heard this really good pork. Pork and bamboo shoot curry. This pork looks pretty explosive, man. We are awaiting our pork. Get some chili pork. Pork gonna be one of the things. We're getting pork. Is it pork fry or is it pork curry? With pork, I think. Did you just say pork? Yeah. <laughs>